Closing arguments expected to begin in about half an hour in the trial of a former Jacksonville youth pastor accused of killing and dismembering a 16 year old boy. Ronnie Hyde surprised the court yesterday. He took the stand in his own defense. He was calm, he was measured and consistent. Hyde is charged with the murder and the death of Fred Laster. His torso was found outside of a Lake City gas station in 1994. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding is live again at the Duval County Hort Courthouse. And Ashley, prosecutors will cross-examine Hyde. Then this trial is expected to wrap up shortly after. It is, and Ronnie Hyde insists he did not kill Fred Laster. In fact, yesterday he testified saying the last time he saw the teenager was when he jumped out of his car all those years ago. Now again, prosecutors contend Ronnie Hyde is responsible for Freddie Laster's death for killing and dismembering him. They will begin cross-examining him in just a little while. Ronnie Hyde's testimony in his own defense came as a surprise to virtually everyone Thursday afternoon. Mr. Hyde, did you kill Fred Laster? No, I didn't know. Hyde testified the last time he saw Fred Laster was when the two were driving together. He said the teen did not want to go back to his grandmother's house. That's when he grabbed the steering wheel and jumped out of the car. He uh, went across the road and, and started heading south on the other side of the road. And what did you do? Well, I, I sat there and waited for, a, a, there was a, a car coming, a truck actually coming across the, the, the bridge. Also taking center stage were images taken during the FBI's raid of Hyde's Jacksonville Beach home, showing the former youth pastor lived in squalor. When questioned about some of the items found at the crime scene, including the red flannel shirt with his DNA, Hyde testified his father had similar shirts, and he may have given it to Laster at some point. He also talked about egg crate mattresses, like the blood-soaked one found at the crime scene. Hyde said he gave Laster one to use for camping. Hyde's cousin also took the stand reading from journal entries where Hyde asked forgiveness from Fred Laster. When asked why he'd want forgiveness from Laster, Hyde said this. Do you know anything more than what you told us about Fred Laster's death? No. Would you have ever harmed that child? Oh, no. I never heard that kid. And it also came out during testimony in court yesterday that Hyde had declared Fred Laster as a dependent foster child on his taxes in the years after Laster disappeared. Once again, prosecutors will begin cross-examining him in just a little while, starting at 8.30 right here at the Duval County Courthouse. News for Jax will be inside. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.